It is a clear enough day from the top of my roof. You can basically see top of Golden Gate Bridge right there. And that's where we're going today. With this orangey red coat, the Golden Gate Bridge has become arguably one of the most famous symbols of the place where it was built, San Francisco. Opened on May 27th, 1937, its inauguration was blessed by 200,000 pairs of feet, the approximate number of people who walked across the bridge on the long-awaited day. It is, as it should be, at the top of many visitors' sightseeing to-do lists. And the question for many is, what is the best way to cross? Alrighty, let's go to the bridge. Alright guys, there's four ways you can cross the bridge. You can walk across, you can bike across, you can go on a tour, or you can drive across yourself. Alright, now I have to remember, I'm pretty sure it's up this way. You guys look over to the right, there is a little gift shop over there. And then coming up right here to the circular place is a little cafe with some coffee, a place for good snacks. I think they actually have food in there now. Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. The bridge was constructed at a cost of roughly $35.5 million and came in ahead of schedule and under budget. Close to the bridge, the water's depths are over 300 feet deep. The bridge is 1.7 miles across. The towers stand 500 feet above street level and 726 feet above the water. Each weighs 44,000 tons and one stands 4,200 feet apart from the other. It is usually really windy dress warm. The bridge sits 225 feet above the water, which is roughly the same as a 25-story building. In 1994, the American Society of Civil Engineers categorized the bridge as being among the seven civil engineering wonders in the U.S. Since the year it was opened, over 1,500 individuals have committed suicide by jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. It is actually the top location for committing suicide in the world. On an average, 6,000 bicycles, 10,000 pedestrians, and 112,000 motor vehicles use the Golden Gate Bridge on a daily basis. Prior to the existence of the bridge, the only way to get back and forth between San Francisco and Marin County was by the way of ferry boats. This was not ideal and plans were put in place to make changes. Engineer Joseph Strauss was responsible for the design of this bridge and he was in charge of the overall design and building of the structure. All right, everybody, we made it across the bridge. That took, I don't know, eight minutes. Yeah, it's actually amazing today. Okay, as you guys can see, like the bridge has two different areas, basically a bike path and then a walkway. Then over here, you go into Sausalito. Sausalito has some like really good restaurants down here, which I'm gonna take you guys to soon. Uh, you go down there in the bay and then you basically take a ferry 
there are the ferries we basically take a ferry from there all the way back across the bay it might actually take you around alcatraz tourists if you're looking for something to do cross the bridge physical suicide deterrent system they put these things here so if you try to jump you actually have to really jump out there